What's up everyone? I just got a really quick one for you today. I'm going to show you how to recreate sort of a strobe lighting effect in Blender. Uh, I literally just discovered this today and I thought it was really cool so I just wanted to share it with you guys. It shouldn't take you guys too long to do, uh, only about five minutes. Uh, we're going to be using F-curve modifiers to recreate this effect and yeah, on with the tutorial. So we're going to be taking off from a scene that I've already started. As you can see, we've got this little guy dancing in the center. He looks really cool. Um, there's going to be a link to the project file in the description of this video. Or if you want to recreate it, it's actually quite simple. It's just, um, I, I basically just downloaded this uh, this little character animation from a website called Mixamo. Uh, I'll show you now. So just open up your web browser, head to Mixamo.com. It's a really fun website where you can download some free character models, uh, fully rigged with character animations as well. It's really handy if you just want to play around with some characters and just sort of play around with some animations without having to go. And as you can see, if you browse through, there's all these different pre-recorded animations that you can just download and import into Blender. And if you do want to import it into Blender, you just go File, Import, Import FBX File, and locate wherever it was, and then just hit Import FBX, and there you have it. So the first thing we're going to do is add the light, which is going to create the strobing effect. So hit Shift A, add a light, and we'll add a point light. And we're just going to bring that up. So hit G, Z, and we're going to bring that up about here. Now if you come into rendered mode, hit Z, then 8. Now we're just going to come to our light settings. So just make sure you've got your point light selected and come to this little light bulb here. And we are basically going to add keyframes to the power. So on your first frame of your timeline, hover your mouse over the power parameter and hit I on your keyboard. That's going to add a keyframe and now come to the end, add a keyframe. And so just hit I on the keyboard again with your mouse hovered over the power parameter. Now you're going to come over here to edit a type on your timeline and change this to graph editor. Just bring this up a bit and come over here. So expand all these menus, click on power, hit N on your keyboard. And it's going to bring up this menu here and it took me ages to find this menu. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. Under here, on these three tabs, you want to come to your modifier section here, add a modifier, and we're going to add built-in function, and this, this is a sine wave here, so make sure it's set to sine, and we're going to bring the amplitude up to, we'll say 500. Uh, so that controls the strength of the light, so now if you hit play, you're going to get a sort of strobing effect here, but first thing I notice is you're getting a grey shadow here, that's because our world isn't black, so if you come to your world settings, change that to black, and that should fix that problem. I'm just going to take my overlays off as well. Now hit play and you get a strobe effect. It's really cool. So basically what this is doing is created a sine wave which basically these are basically the curves of the animation so um, if you go back to your light bulb you'll see as you skip across the frames the, param the power parameter is following the uh, direction of this sine wave and that's creating the strobe effect and if you play with a phase multiplier, you can increase and decrease the wavelength of the sine wave. So if you want longer strobes, you just have a you just uh, drop the phase multiplier down. If you want a quicker strobe effect, then you just pump it up. You'll notice when you have it low, it's not really strobing; it's kind of fading in. If you want to make the uh, the strobe a bit more or well, stroby and more I'm trying to think of the word more like staccato, <laughs> if you can call it that for lighting, but yeah. If you want to make it more on off on off you just add another modifier and you add a limit and scroll down and on your limits you want to select set minimum on zero and on maximum check that when you check that that is uh it's made everything black now you can basically set a limit on the max strength what you'll notice this does if you pump this up it sort of flattens the the tips of the sine wave so you can see these, it kind of starts to turn more into a square wave. So if you just balance your amplitude with this, if you bring the amp up, you start widening the uh, the clipping of the of the sine wave. This is how you achieve the actual pure kind of strobe effect. But yeah, I'm just going to wrap it up there. I just wanted to make this a quick tutorial, uh, just to show you guys this really cool effect that I just stumbled across. Um, yeah, if you do feel like you gain value from this lesson, please leave a like and subscribe for more content. And like I said, if you want to download the project template, um, I'm going to leave a link in the description or you can just head to my website, that's nebmotion.co.uk.